listening bird flu reading and critical thinking how to avoid illness bird flu by 2007 more than 300 people had caught the disease but only about half of these people died but you shouldn't worry it's very unusual for humans to catch this kind of flu they have to be very near infected birds it's extremely unusual for humans to catch bird flu from other humans experts believe that the recent outbreak of bird flu started in 2003 in Asia 100 million birds were killed to try to stop the disease but by 2005 to 2006 there were new outbreaks in Africa the Middle East and Europe the disease is still with us but we believe it's under control all kinds of wild birds as well as farm birds like chickens can catch the disease but other animals like cats can also catch it most people who catch bird flu live very near to birds which have the disease if you have touched an infected bird you must wash very well if you think you may have the disease you must see your doctor how to avoid illness cleanliness is extremely important in protecting us from infections hygiene your own cleanliness and sanitation public cleanliness are both important many infections of the stomach pass from one person to another because of bad sanitation and hygiene if a child has dirty hands they would be covered with millions of germs which we cannot see if that child gives sweets to another child some of those germs would be passed for, to the other child when this child eats the sweets he or she will eat some of the germs and may become ill the child's mother may say that it's because her child ate the sweets but it's really because her child ate the other child's germs these are some of the rules of hygiene you should always wash your hands before a meal you should bath more often in hot weather or when you have been running or been to the gym you should also be careful about the food you eat and the water you drink make sure that flies and other insects do not land on your food insects eat dirt and there are germs in dirt if insects land on your food they may pass their germs on to you you must not leave pieces of food or dirty dishes lying around because they would attract flies you can protect food from flies and germs by covering it you should always boil tap water before you drink it finally you must never eat food that smells bad because it may be poisonous do not eat food from a tin if the tin is damaged the food will probably be bad our son's hospital not clean says family a young patient is ill in hospital after a cut on his finger became infected the boy's family said that their son's bed was not very clean doctors and nurses looking after the boy said they were very disappointed by the news they promised to clean the hospital and equip it properly the following week they invited the boy's family to inspect the hospital 
The family was pleased that the hospital had been able to make things better. Language notes. In this unit, we are going to study the difference between disease and illness. Disease is an illness that can pass from one person to another through infection. But illness refers to mental or physical illness. As in the following examples. Starvation and disease have killed thousands of people in Somalia. He died at home after a long illness. The difference among die of or from, die away, and die out. Die of or from means to die because. Die away means to vanish, especially for a sound or a voice. Die out means to become extinct. He was about to die of bird flu. The sound of their laughter died away. Dinosaurs died out millions of years ago. And now, answer the following questions. 1. What do you know about bird flu? It's a serious and infectious disease that birds, animals, and people can catch. 2. How can people protect themselves from bird flu? They must keep away from infected birds. If they have touched an infected bird, they must wash very well. If they think they may have the disease, they must see a doctor. 3. What's the difference in meaning between Hygiene and sanitation. Hygiene is your own cleanliness, but sanitation is public cleanliness. 4. How do infections of the stomach pass from one person to another, or from one child to another? They pass by a child with dirty hands, passing germs to other children or to food. 5. Why mustn't you leave dirty dishes lying around? You mustn't do so because flies or insects may land on them and pass their germs onto you. 6. How should you keep food? You should keep food, food clean and covered up. 7. Why should you bath more often in hot weather? You should do so because people get hot in hot weather. And this makes it easier for germs to multiply on the skin. 8. What are the rules of hygiene that we have to follow? You should always wash your hands before a meal. You should bath more often in hot weather or after exercise. You should keep food clean and covered up. You mustn't leave pieces of food or dirty dishes lying around. You should always boil tap water before you drink it. You must never eat food that smells bad because it may be poisonous. Do not eat food from a tin if the tin is damaged, because it might be bad. 
Now, choose the correct answer. 1. If you eat too many sweets, you will put, put away, put on, put down, wait. 2. The cut on his leg is getting worse. It's dirty and has become infected, infection, infectious, or healthy. Three. Hygiene, sanitation, cleanliness, or flu is an illness that birds, people, and other animals can catch. 4. Lions and elephants are examples of wild, domestic, tame, or farm animals. 5. Cleanliness protects us from infect, infectious, infects, Infections. Now, check your answers. If you eat too many sweets, you will put on weight. The cut on his leg is getting worse. It's dirty and has become infected. Flu is an illness that birds, people, and other animals can catch. Lions and elephants are examples of wild animals. Cleanliness protects us from infections. Six. Infections can pass, walk, run, or jump very quickly from one person to another. 7. A fly is a common kind of bird, human, insect, or flu. 8. There are rules of infection, hygiene, pollution, or disease that we should follow to avoid danger. 9. Personal cleanliness, clean, cleaner, or cleans is important if we want to stay healthy. 10. Washing can stop people from making, catching, taking, or becoming infectious. Infections. Now, check your answers. Infections can pass very quickly from one person to another. A fly is a common kind of insect. There are rules of hygiene that we should follow to avoid danger. Personal cleanliness is important if we want to stay healthy. Washing can stop people from catching infections. Thanks for listening with Nafham. Learn easily and simply.